friends, so it has been a while but we are out here in sunny LA and I thought what better time and what better place to bring you guys a vlog. I came out here for Minecon which is an annual Minecraft event for those of you who don't know about it. It is really cool, yeah. Basically at Minecon they have a load of the developers there from Mojang and they do loads of panels, they have all the Minecraft YouTubers there who do panels as well. Anyway, we are now in Los Angeles and today we are going to be heading to Santa Monica Pier to see if we can't get ourselves some new Pokemon because Santa Monica Pier seems to be the Pokemon hub of Los Angeles. So before we head off to Santa Monica Pier, what I thought we'd do is just quickly check out my current Poke Squad. So I am currently a level 24 and my buddy is a Charmander because I'm desperate to get Charizard. This is my current top squad. So we've got Flareon there in at number one, Magmar at number two, which was a new Pokemon that I caught in LA, and Golduck, Golduck? and Golduck in at the number three spot. To be honest, I feel like my top Pokemon are pretty weak, so while we're in LA, we're really hoping that we can get the squad up a little bit. I also have a ton of evolutions to do. Like, I wanna say I've got about 20, which I'm gonna do in the next episode. But for now, let's head over to Santa Monica Pier and catch all those Pokemon. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are at the pier now. As you can see, there are like a million Pokestops here, it's slight exaggeration, but there are a lot of Pokestops here and they permanently have lure modules on them. So there's constantly Pokemon spawning in and I have just seen that there is a Doe Trio on my nearby list. So we're gonna go and see if we can't hunt that beast down and capture it. To the pier! Oh my God, it's here. So I've got my lucky egg on because this is a new Pokemon for me. So let's see if we can catch this three-headed monster. Sorry about that. Now, I'm gonna try with a great ball. I am actually running out of balls, so she's sweet. That's what, come on, you little beastie. Oh, it was a great throw with a great ball. Let's see if it's enough to seal the deal. It's not, he's out, he's out. Let's give him another raspberry. It looks pretty mean, this thing, pretty mean. This is my last great ball, and it's another great throw. One, two, three rolls, and it's locked in there. Dodrio was caught. Oh, there he is, getting added to our Pokédex. Awesome. Oh, he's extra large as well. I mean, I don't want to call this a successful day, but this is a successful day. So one of the awesome things about being LA is that the Pokemon here are completely different than the Pokemon that I catch in London. So like near where I live in London, I literally just get drowsies, ratatars, pidgeys, all the crap that you don't want. Whereas over here, there's so many Ponytars, there's so many Growlers, and there's so many sand trees and our canine was actually one of the Pokemon that I've really wanted so I now actually have enough Growlithe to do two evolutions and I've just found another one which is CP784 I don't think this is my largest yet but maybe its individual value is high so I'm gonna go ahead and catch it anyway oh I got an excellent throw with a great ball if that doesn't lock him in then I don't know what will got him the pier is also insane there are so many entertainers here and guys just doing weird shit that you would never even understand in a million years but it is entertaining We're heading to Paris Valley, which is about an hour and a half out of Los Angeles. It's my birthday coming up, so my family have very kindly booked for me to go on a skydive. Yeah, they either really love me or really hate me. Probably the latter. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit terrified. We are currently in the Uber on the way, so I guess if you're watching this, then I made it out alive. See you on the other side.
Okay, so we have just arrived at Skydive Paris Valley and I've just seen some other guys coming in in the parachutes so thankfully as far as I could tell they all made it down alive because they all had parachutes open so I mean that's got to be good news at least right I'm actually getting really pumped up now that I'm here I'm sure I'll be absolutely bricking it when I'm in the plane but I have always said that I really wanted to skydive and I guess I didn't quite think about what that actually meant but today I am gonna find out behind us we actually have the plane there ready to go and people have just boarded it you can see that in the background I guess that's what I am gonna be going up in Eek. Now I am going to go and get geared up and go through the training process. Guys, I have just finished my skydive. That little plane in the background is the little rickety plane that took us up to 12,500 feet. I'm not gonna lie, the journey up there in the plane was actually probably the worst part. My palms were really, really sweating. Knees weak, arms are heavy. When the door opened, I was like, oh my God, there's no way I can do this. And then when the guy took us over to the door, I kind of looked out and was like, shit but insanely i was actually really calm when we jumped so we were free falling for a minute it was honestly one of the best if not the best experience of my life i would strongly recommend it if you haven't done it anyway now we're gonna jump back in an uber and head back to los angeles because it's about an hour and a half away from here but yeah this has been awesome so guys as always thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you next time